Hello everyone and welcome to Monkey Fish channel. Some time ago somebody told me that when I use my palm strike I can injure my wrist or even break it. So this is why I decided to make this video. So in the first moment I thought that it's really dumb. But after some time I was thinking about this and you know when you hit with your fist then your forearm is quite relaxed until the last moment. But when you use your palm strike, when you just lift your hand up, you can feel tension in your forearm. And especially me because I work physically and I use my arms a lot in my daily days. So when I just lift my hand up, I can feel some tension in my forearm. It's not painful, but it's just some discomfort there. And before we go any further, I want to let you know that I do not say that palm strikes are better than fists, because if I have to fight somebody, I will use my fist. And if you ask me, do palm strikes are better than fist, I would say no. And if you ask me if fists are better than palm strike, I would say maybe. And if you ask me which one of them is better, then I would say depends. So I cannot help you discover the answer what you're searching for. And remember, this is only my opinion, so you don't have to agree with me. In my opinion, when you hit with your fist, it's much more possibilities that something can go wrong. For example, if you hit something hard, you can break your knuckles. If you hit something else, your wrist can go this way, this way, this way, or this way. So, if you are really unlucky, you can break your knuckles and injure your wrist. And with palm strike, not so many things can happen here. Of course, if you go low, this is not good angle for your wrist. And if you go up and this guy got to bend, this is also not good angle for your wrist. This is why you should be focused to go forward or up and use your, this part of the hand, not fingers. But if you really, really want to talk about this that you can break or injure yourself, then we should start this conversation with humans was not designed for fighting because every bad punch, every bad kick, you can injure yourself or break your bones. For example, if you hit something, you can break your knuckles, you can injure or break your wrist. If you kick something, you can break your foot, shin or even knee. And in the fight, you should injure your opponent, not yourself. And I know you can tell me that you can train or condition your body to avoid that, but even this, you have no guarantee that this will never happen. Next example can be that if you ask somebody who have never trained martial arts to break a board. I don't want to say 100%, but a lot of people are going to use palm strike as a test strike before they use fists. Why? I don't know the answer for this but maybe they have some life experience, they know when they hit something with the fist can be painful or something. This is why it's for them more safe to use palm strike. I don't know why, but this is how it is. So, when I was training karate four or five years ago, then hitting makiwara, it was a normal thing, but right now, you can say what you want, but right now, I do not feel comfortable hitting full power to makiwara. So, I can still do it, but I'm holding back. But if I use palm strike, I don't care. I can do full power. No pain, no problem. And some people are saying that hitting with the fist is more natural for us because we was doing this when we were a kid. But this is only half true because, to be honest, I haven't seen kid who hit like this. Normally, kids hit like this, like more like a hammer fist or like this and even when you look for the fights with people who do not train any martial arts or combat sports they also fight like this some weird weird stuff here happening if you are afraid of this what i said on the beginning of the video that when you lift your uh, hand up then you feel tense in your forearm and the tip is that you just go a little bit to the side so you can hit Let's take a look for sumo wrestlers. Rikishis cannot hit with the fists, but they can do palm strikes. They can, they can slap. So, and these guys have some weight behind these punches. They can KO somebody with them.
In my opinion, this hand position is more natural for us because we're using this almost every day. For example, which here we're standing up, we're falling, we're walking up, we try to push something, we try to lift something. So we use this more often for almost everything. Even if we go for some extreme example, we can take a look for the gymnasts. When they do all these crazy flips, they put hands like this. And I'm not a scientist, but I think in the jumping thing, this small tiny wrist can handle almost double or even more of your weight. I will try it. So. And my wrists are fine. No problem. And for example, if you fall and you don't know how to fall, for example, you fall like this, it's more likely that you're going to break your elbow than your wrist. So, slowly I have nothing more to say about this topic, so it's time to finish. So, summarizing, I do not think that palm strikes are that dangerous and I do not say that they are better than fists because in the fight I would use my fists. And if you are afraid that you're going to injure your wrist with that, then probably you have a spaghetti arms and hitting with your fists is also not a good idea. And if you are afraid that you're going to break something in the fight, then my advice is to avoid all fighting situations. So, thank you for watching. See you next time.